I want to play through this game again. This is a fucking good game. Because I want to see all the different choices as well. Especially the... Especially the, uh... Spoiler choice at the beginning of a new game of, like, what happened to... Thing. Because now, especially since David's here, I want to see how that changes some of his stuff, or if it even does. Hey. Is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? How do you think we can live here? No more running, and I don't... So... What are we gonna do for money and stuff? I... Get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school... Dude! I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or... Do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. <sighs> I really want to know how this is going to go down. Ooh, that seems kind of dangerous, but... <laughs> At least one of these moments I have a, a song and it's not copyrighted. So I wish the game had this. And so I have to anything these known copyrighted songs playing over these scenes like this, you know? Just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on the way, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean! Why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. 
But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. I hope so. Why can't they just leave us alone? They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. Okay. Uh... I have no hey, fucking hey. clue how we can do this. Sean? Why would they build this? Well... You know... It's a border, man. Is there a wall like this? Up north? Nah... Not really. Mainly because there's a giant there force. Yeah, because there's a giant force there, and, and, aut and automatically a, uh, thing like there. Because there's, like, a giant fucking, uh... It's, it's fun fact about the Canadian border. There's actually no trees or anything grow, or really anything grows, in between the Canadian and American border. And so it's essentially there is a giant wall. It's just that there's not a physical one like there is inside Mexico. Mexico. Is going to be totally trash or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's gonna be super easy with my power. Okay, I guess we're doing this. That actually, reminds me. Ah. Uh, Shit, ah, uh, there's a thing here. I probably fucked, I probably missed that. Ah, uh, that's fine. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. Well, at least warping it. It's all right. Take your time. Stay focused. I'm with you, Daniel. Super Wolf? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it! <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean! <laughs> that would be cool I... if we could just walk to the beach. I feel like something's gonna happen. I can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. <laughs> 
It'll be. Daniel. Fucking hell. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. Oh. No. No way, not now. Daniel! I knew something would fucking happen. Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, uh, uh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! No, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Listen, it's a long story, but we really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. So tell me the plan. That was not us. We have no idea how it happened. It, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! Yeah, don't move! What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, he knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, man. Do what the officer says. He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals. Fuck's sake. What I say? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, Take a breath. You okay now? What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. <sighs> Fuck. Welp. Welp, welp, welp. God is what? God is what? God is. I don't know what that says. Don't look at me. This has been. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi 
mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es... Um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. <laughs> en realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. Pero, ¿por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Pero, ¿no es elegir la solución más fácil? ¿Escaparse de sus problemas en vez de quedarse y afrontarlos? ¿No es lo que están haciendo ustedes? Tú, más que nadie, tienes que saber que no hay nada fácil en cruzar desiertos y fronteras para sobrevivir. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian, pero la gente también. En el camino, encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. You're generalizing. Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our prisons are full. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> that's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. 
My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt the slick, like, like, like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale uh, Whether you people lack it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey! You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay. Let's move it. So I could probably talk to eight of three of those options. It probably would still let the same thing. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet, lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. <sighs> oh, shit. Is it morning already? I hope he's all right. <sighs> Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Of course not. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Cause you shot someone, you fucking bitch. Let me out of here. Well, I'm not illegal. I'm a sovereign citizen. Open up. Stay you shot a. What are you babbling about now? Do you ever just not yell? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. If I have to come back here again, you're going to solitary. Got it? All right. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so Shit. much better. <sighs> At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. 
killing that officer in Seattle, vandalizing a motel room, caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada, hmm? oh, which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with, but not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. But sure, throw another innocent in jail. I don't really care. <laughs> I bet she'd be happy to hear that. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir, I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Come on. Bullshit. We gotta go. Get us out of here. Help us, Karina. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Sean, who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. It's been me aquí until I check this out. Of course. Holy mother! 
How'd you do that? How? Wait. You think I killed what him? The fuck are you? No, no. He's up for the count. Get out of here. Okay, hands oh, up. Shit. Don't right move. Now. Shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Jeez. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. Got the mark, dude. We got multiple officers. Down. What the fuck? Shoot them now. They're dangerous. Just get Be up. careful. The chair. We will shoot if we need to. What's going Understand? on? Understand? Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything stupid, kid! I'm scared. Throw that locker. I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. You do, you Step fucking murderers! Terrorists! Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. There was a different way to deal with the police officers. <sighs> no, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, what are we gonna do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say!
You know that day? In Seattle. The date Dad was shot. I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? I think their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could... I get it. That's not who we are. Exactly. We're not criminals. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose what life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be all right. I promise. You promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean, only the good shit. I will. I swear. On your knees! I said on your knees now! I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. He's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Oye, oye, oye. Come back! He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never. I hope this isn't the fucking end right there. 
I want an epilogue or something. Give me an epilogue. Don't don't fucking end this here, you. Thank you. Fucking hell. Fifteen years after the event. Thank you. 
I know I can't like show it, but I have like a grin on my face. I can't wait for Life Strange 3. Why? I really. Oh. I really love that. Because it was. That was a good. This was a good, good game. It was really, really good. Like. I can't. sort of just do this and then because I'd like to show credits but I kind of want to get through this because I, I kind of want to see the choices but this game was really really good I I I've always liked these sort of games you know like I, I'm always a, a big fan of these games I was a big fan of Telltale for like a lot of the uh for a lot of the games a lot of the stories and all this so I just love these sort of tales, you know? And I really just love this one because it was like. Because it already took, like, the uh, thing of life. It took the basis that Life is Strange had, you know? And it really elevated it, you know? Because Life is Strange had a good amount of. of Things because it shouldn't tell a story inside a realistic world, which was because essentially was the same thing. If you of someone one got a power and that how that changed their life and everything surrounding it, but the sort of thing at the end of Life is Strange Two is that it sort of boiled down to a choice that made other choices invalid. And I and I 
didn't like that. While this one, it makes it feel like... I, I think it still was down to that final choice of uh, going through the border or, go, or giving up, but it made every other choice as well feel like it was unique, you know? Now, like, no matter what happened, the choices still mattered at the end of the day. And what you did would change things, you know? That's what I feel like would, was about it, you know? And that's what I really liked compared to the first game. And I just, I really, really love this. I honestly, I also like the fact that we got an, an epilogue, you know? That the story didn't just end right there at, like, right there at the uh, border, you know? That we actually got to continue. I suspect since you and Hunter Grabber to your amazing sport, art, gift, fashion, and theories, and thanks for the patience while crafting these episodes. Once again, we're proud to, be, to have you on board on this amazing journey. Keep howling. He decided to force the roadblock and Daniel accepted. He decided to force the roadblock and Daniel refused. He decided to surrender and Daniel accepted. He decided to surrender and Daniel refused. Overall, you taught Daniel to do his best and follow the rules of society. To put, you taught Daniel to put himself and his brother first. Ah, uh, you did the treasure and found the hidden souvenir. You overall kept your distance from Karen. You wrote a caring note to Karen. You said farewell to Arthur, you said farewell to John, you hugged Karen before leaving, you interviewed to calm Diego in the cell, you freed the Mexican couple, you didn't ask Daniel to free the vigilantes, you asked Daniel to take revenge on the vigilantes, you didn't ask Daniel to kill the officers to escape the police station. Uh, that's, that's fucking good. Daniel was told off about the scorpion and stopped messing with it, told off but kept messing with it, was told off, wasn't told off the scorpion. Daniel managed to set up John sculpture with help, like he wanted. Uh, so without your help. Daniel was concerned about hurting Officer Campbell. That's good. I really like that. He wasn't asked if he'd been like these. Didn't lash out. Killed the officers while leaving the police station. I did not want that. Knocked out. That's fine. I was, I was worse. Uh, Daniel wasn't asked to kill the officers. Was okay to to kill the officers. Was reluctant, but forced to kill the officers. With Daniel refused to kill the officers. Okay. Thanks for playing and following Sean and Daniel's journey. On their journey, I mean. <laughs> We're going on the more page. <sighs> I I really liked this game. It was it was really fun. I enjoyed the journey. I I wanna try and do this again, but possibly uh, don't not. Hey, the title screen changed. <laughs> Instead of being on on episode uh, like the right right before episode one, it's now sometime before, huh? <laughs> that's that's nice. But yeah, I. I really like this, and I want to do it for Donuts next game, but I also, it's probably going to be a while, because I want to wait for all the episodes of that to come out, which, uh, if I remember correctly, it's called A Way Out, and I want, and I really want to go and play that, but I want to wait for all the episodes to come out, because I, I like Donuts, I really like the stories and what they tell, and I, I really like this, I liked, I liked the, uh, slow burn of Daniel's powers getting more and more stronger, him getting more and more control and all that. I also like the slow burn of Sean's change as a person for him. And I and I liked how I managed to tell my do my choices. Cause I tried my best because I didn't know how the endings would go. I did not know anything about this game. I went into it completely blind and and I really enjoyed the fact, and I really enjoyed that fact that I went to this blind, because a lot of the other games I've been playing, I sort of had prior knowledge to stuff that would happen, you know, like uh, 
Like Final Fantasy VII Remake, I basically knew the entire thing. I wasn't sure how it would play out for me, but I, I knew the entire thing. For Legend, like, uh, Legends of Link's Awakening, I knew how it would play out. Infamous Second Son, I played it before. I 100%ed 100 before. Like, The Last of Us, I, I knew it. But this was my first ever really blind playthrough, and and I feel like it was a really good one. It, it really... I feel like this was a good game to do. I, I don't know if how well it would be re is received by you guys, you know, the viewers and all that, but I I felt like it was a really good game, and I felt like it was a good game to Let's Play. I I might have not been the best and like understood it the best to give the best commentary and all that, but I really liked it. I really, really did. I, because because uh, a lot of games I play don't really resonate with me at all. Like they don't resonate on like an emotional level for me. They sort of just are there. But when a game resonates on an emotional level, like me, like making me grin at, at the end there for that ending, it it really really does a lot, you know. And it just. Because, like, the original Life of Strange was like that for me. I resonated with that game a lot, and I liked it a lot, and it's just... And it made me, you know, feel stuff. Like, and there's, like, been other games like that as well, but I really... And this game was it's one of them, and I and I feel like that's a mark of a good game. That it's it, like, at me as a viewer and a player, I'm able to separate myself from it being a game and resonate with, with it so well. Uh, but anyway, uh, I hope you all really did enjoy this game because, like I said, I I did. And as for what I will let's play next, I'm not sure honestly. I'm kind of split between stuff, and because October is a kind of a weird month to me, and because you know the PS5 is right around the corner, and I want to go get that and play like Miles Morales because I fucking am excited for that game. And I, I don't want to go play that, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna possibly fill out the rest of this month. I so I'm not sure what game will be next. If if I had to make a guess right now, based on when I'm recording this, which is like I believe the second of October or if, yeah the second of October, I would have to guess it would most likely be Yakuza Zero. I I would most likely either play that or Persona 4 Golden. So, yeah. But with that out of the way, I will see you all next time. So, I hope you all have a good... I hope you have a, all have a good golden day.